Hey YouTube, this is the Lab TCG1 here, also known as Max Merck, and today I'll be showing you guys how to operate the Mercedes iPod connection kit on for some of the older models. On some of the newer models, you're gonna want to connect your iPod inside the center console, and you can uh, you can access it by scrolling up to your audio menu, clicking down, and you you will have an iPod feature right there. But for older cars, like this car, which is a 2008 C300, what you're going to want to do is take your iPod Nano or iPod Classic, and I am not sure what other iPods um, are compatible with this, but, and then you're just going to want to go ahead and plug it in. Mine's already plugged in. And you're going to see, when you first plug it in, you're going to see it will have the Mercedes logo on the screen as I will show you right now in a second. So once you go ahead and connect it in, there we go, it's on, I'm going to go ahead and connect it in. You're going to see the Mercedes logo come up on the screen. And then after that you can just leave it inside your glove compartment and it will charge while the car is on and you can leave it on hold if you'd like which I do so I'm just gonna leave that in there and it's a little bit confusing for the older models like this the interface is a lot different from the 2010 and later models so what you're gonna wanna do is using your control knob you're gonna wanna go up to audio push down and go to auxiliary. From there you can access, you can hear it, but the only way you can uh, like choose which song you'd like is using the multifunction steering wheel, scrolling to audio, and you'll see your iPod right there. And I don't believe you can pause it. You can mute it and I am not positive Yeah, using the mute button will pause it. On um, also on updated command modules, I went to the dealership and I had my command updated the software, and now I have this volume boost mode. For cars that don't have this, it will just be on standard, and you will have to turn off the volume. For some reason, I don't know why Mercedes designed it like that. But if you get your command software updated, you can go right here push down and it will boost the volume. You can also adjust your surround sound settings in here. And you can choose which song you'd like by using these up down buttons. And if you push the end call button, it will bring a different menu of either shuffling songs, podcast, audiobooks, composers, songs, genres, albums, artists, playlists, and that's it. And from there you can pick what you'd like. And you can shuffle if you like. Basically, whatever you'd like, you'd have to control, control through the multifunction steering wheel. And you can adjust the volume boost function through here. And like I said, mute will pause the song and you can adjust your volume right through here. So it's a very basic system on the older cars but for the 2010 models and later you will have more features such as cover art and etc. And if this video helped you be sure to hit the like button and subscribe for more tips and tricks and videos just like this. Thanks for watching.